They are a mobile beacon for the Calgary urban art scene, better known as the Bass Bus. My guests today are uh, Baron Faber, who is the Bass Bus co-founder. Mm -hmm. A co-founder. Co-founder. Is this the other founder here? There's no. no. He oh. couldn't be here. Joel. Oh. Uh, hi, Joel. Uh, <laughs> Shannon Sembo is the talent manager, volunteer coordinator. So you actually deal with all the peeps. I do, yes. You say, hey, yeah. you know what, we've got an idea. We have a, we have a bus. We need some talent. We need some talent and some people to help out for sure. Always local talent? Uh, we try to for the most part, okay. yeah. Because you two originate from Calgary. Uh, I've been here for about 10, 11 years. Originally but, from Lloydminster, but... But the, but the base bus The base bus is, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Born and raised here, that bus. Okay, so now you're asking the question, okay, Phoenix, what the heck is a base bus? Yeah. Well, that's why we brought these two along. Who wants to jump on that one? Well, I'll jump in. Like you said, uh, mobile art platform is kind of what we've coined it as. Um, we put... Uh, a whole bunch of things into the bus to help uh, promote uh, art in various ways. So, I mean, on, for example, we've got three trees in the bus that are real trees, but they've been wired so you can plug in a guitar or a microphone into it. We've had full bands set up in the bus and we've been driving around having a nine-piece funk band playing while we're cruising around. Um, it's this, got is, a, this is the bus we're seeing right here and this is... Oh yeah, that's yeah, us that's working it. on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at the interior, that's gorgeous. Is that, that's just a, a normal school bus. It was a normal school yeah. bus. We got it yellow, uh, all regular seats on the inside and we gutted it. Is that a cat? Um, that's my dog, Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> He's a star. There you go. Those are the plugs in the tree you can plug right into. Um, Traveling around the world, around yeah. the country. Some stage design that we do. And so the Anna. whole idea is you want to bring art to those... We want to bring it to, yeah, it's a mobile platform. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's how it started was, uh, you know, it was a small idea. We wanted to, you know, create a bus that was a mobile stage so we could bring music and have a stage anywhere the bus could go. Now, and, do the artists travel with you? Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, a lot, we're kind of like a one-stop shop. People can hire us and uh, we show up with the, the DJ, sound guy, the sound equipment, the staging, everything. Um, the talent. Talent. That's wild <laughs> to think about all this organization going on. You say, yeah, we have it. Mm -hmm. We will come. Yeah, we Just, will come. We'll but, take care of it. What kind of site do you need, though? Because uh, I noticed that in the, in the video we just saw a few moments ago, it looked like you're out in the wilderness somewhere. Yeah, so that was a music festival that we do every year, Base Coast. That's uh, like a large-scale uh, stage that we build. It right. takes us, we're on site for about two weeks building that. That's not our mobile stage. Um, but what uh, people might be used to seeing around Calgary is our, our smaller kind of mobile stage. Mm -hmm. It takes about two, uh, an hour to two to set up. Um, we do a lot of events at East Village, like Lalic Fest, um, you know, mm. a flat ground, and, and we're good to go. So you can really pop it up anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, just pop it on boom, and there you are. Yeah, that's the sudden, idea. You're a mobile little unit. Yes. So when you approach an artist from Calgary or from wherever and say, "Hey, how do you explain this to someone?" Well, um, a lot of the time, actually, the people approach us. Um, so a lot of people see us in an out and about in the city, doing events at music festivals and things like that. Yeah. And uh, they just say, "How can I be involved?" And a lot of our talent is derived from the community that supports us. So the people that come out and support are the ones that are providing the art, the, the music, mm. uh, the visual art, whatever it is, and they're the ones that kind of reach out to us. So then who are you looking for specifically? Are you looking for painters, sculptors? Are you looking for Everybody. Um, indie artists? I mean, what, what specifically, so if somebody's watching right now saying, hey, I want to be part of this bus, yeah. how do they, what category, or what do they need to be, who do they need to be? They for you to say passionate, yeah, passionate, passionate about what they do. willing to travel, yeah, yeah. willing to travel, willing Most to be comfort. flexible, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and basically providing us with a medium that we can make accessible to people that wouldn't normally see it. Provide them up with a platform to basically display their art, whether that be music or visual art or fashion or sculpting, as you say. Yeah, yeah. And, and Baron, your concern before you started this with your founder, co-founder, yeah. is that. Art is not getting a chance to really be exposed here? Well, you know Canada, what it is, is a, uh, we're very limited by our venue space in yes. Cal Calgary specifically, just, you know, um, a lot of the shows hap have to happen in bars and, and we really wanted to create a platform that we could, you know, have art in different places and, mm -hmm. and with the bus we can, we can go anywhere, we can set up in the streets, um, in the parks, stuff like that and, and so that's, that's been huge to us is really, you know, have this thing that we can move around into different parts of the city and activate different spaces. I'm sure the response from the arts community, community has been fantastic, but what about those who've come to this event that you create? What, what kind of responses are you getting from people like, wow, what's this? Probably a lot of questions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of mixed responses. Well, the cool thing is, is we always wanted to create like a beacon, a beacon for arts and culture in the city, like you mentioned, and uh, 
And it's cool because it's, it's actually become that. When people, rec when people see the bus on the streets, they mm -hmm. instantly kind of, if they know the base bus, they've been to a previous base bus event, they already kind of know what to expect. Yeah. They already know the vibe that's going to be there when they show up. And so they're like, oh, I saw the base bus and I, I jumped in and all yeah. of a sudden there was a street party going on. I didn't even know what was happening. Um, but people for the first time, they show up and what they really like, um, we hear this time and time again, you see people of all ages, of all culture, all demographics, smiles on their face and everyone's okay. dancing you I know bet. like oh, Canada wow. Day was amazing we had over 3,000 people show Come up on. <laughs> kids adults like everyone was Down just dancing in the in it's the an street. event yeah it was huge it's well, a happening it was happening and the kids loved the it was bus. so much fun I bet yeah. now I'm sure you're gonna be <laughs> everywhere you're always everywhere to follow you probably the best way is social media Facebook is our most active okay. uh, you know Facebook Instagram Twitter but Facebook is where we keep all of our events um, we're moving around all the time we host a number of our own events that we're always creating and hosting so right. if people jump on there they can uh keep in touch and I like that jump on it's a bus, <laughs> on the bus. Ah, I get it uh base bus is the name of your Facebook uh, account right? yeah facebook.com slash base bus you, you can just type in base bus all one word into Google it'll be right there uh when's the next event real quick uh Hawker's Market uh November 29th at Legion number one it's a big food and music f show love it yeah uh Baron Shannon thank you very much and thank you for next time bring the bus in <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> yeah to find no problem. Yeah, we've got room. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll bring uh, the base. <laughs> other things that are happening here and around Calgary, it's Locks and Frocks 6. It's the sixth installment of an evening of fashion, of splash and flash, all in support of the YWCA. If you'd like to get ticket information, well, by all means, find out by calling 403-203-9243. Well, a lot of threes in there. This is Trending on Shaw.